showcase of comics that don't have powerful agents I've seen in a long time. Um, <laughs> it really is amazing. I am, uh, I'm Canadian, nobody cares, so I'll just jump right into it. I love you guys. Fucking British people, you guys are the best people out there, man. Fuck, good for you, you know? Really, well done. Yeah, I want to be British, I desperately, every day I think, that maybe today I'm British. I'm not. I try my hardest, you know, I try to, you know, ignore people in pain, crying for help on the tube. But, I just do my best, you know? I, I know I'm Canadian, I think like a Canadian. I know, here's how I know I'm, I'm still Canadian. I was watching your riots on TV, right? The best BBC programming I've ever fucking seen. And I'm watching it, and all I can think the entire time I'm watching your riots is, uh, Jesus, you know what the cops here need? A bear. I'm pretty sure that's the most Canadian thought I could have in that given situation, trying to solve your problems with our fucking wildlife. Don't cops have bears though? Have you ever kind of thought about that? They stopped at dogs. They shouldn't have fucking bears. They, I've seen bears ride a bike. You can train a bear. You can do all sorts of shit with bears. The kids have knives. The cops have sticks. Give them fucking bears. Balance it out. You never see criminals with bears. You never nobody holds up a bank with a fucking bear. They'd be surprised if you gave cops bears. And okay, you don't have to give them bears, but you give them the option of going get a bear if they need a bear. You know, here's what I'm saying. Like if a ride breaks out again, there should be like a little pamphlet that all the cops have. Go, fuck, the ride broke out. Oh look, we're allowed to go get a bear from the zoo. And they're like, no way! Are you serious? Yeah, we can go fuck with the zoo. Go commandeer a bear. It says right here in the book. And then they'll all show up at the zoo, right? Go, hey, fuck, we need a bear. And then there's like 50 cops and two bears, right? And you're like, how do they decide who gets the bear? So here's how you decide. The one that can dress the bear like a cop, he gets the bear, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like fucking owning your own dragon on Pandora. You fucking pop that hat on and fuck, that's your bear, right? Now you're going, why do you even have to dress the bear like a cop? Because if it's not dressed like a cop, you go, oh, fuck, it's a wild bear. Oh, no, police bear. It's okay. All right, now. Just right up, so you're fucking nothing here. I like that. Yay! No! But if you give a cop a bear, they're gonna be different. They're gonna be more confident. That's the big thing. It's like, I don't like seeing these insecure twat of cops, because they overreact. They, they kettle crowds, they tear gas people. If a cop's got a bear in his back pocket, he's gonna show up in a ride so much more confident, so much different. He's got a fucking bear! He's, the kids are riding, and they're punching old ladies in the face, and the cops are gonna be like, hey, kids, stop riding. They might use different words, but the kids will be like, uh, fuck you, pigs, we're not gonna stop. And then the cop's got a bear. He's not gonna bust it out right away. He's gonna fuck with the kids first. He's gonna like, he's gonna like spray them with honey for like 10 minutes, right? <laughs> 10 minutes of shh. This confusing thing is, why the fuck are they spraying us with honey? This is delicious. But we're not gonna stop riding, pigs, are you sure? And then just let through the police bear. Just watch the kids' faces. <gasps> Look at the size of that fucking cop. I think he's Greek. Yeah, right? Because I'm racist. Um, You guys need bears, man. Oh, I can't go on any farther. That's my time. All right, you guys have been great. Go get your bears. <laughs>